If this trend continues, we will activate Operation Eat Your Gold and let us eat our oil. <laughs> Some Niger Delta group have come out now to, um, you know, counter the antagonism against uh, Senate President Gosola Pabio. So now they are seeing the attack to be coming from the north and they are now saying that if the attack continues, then they will activate Operation Eat Your Gold, let us eat our oil. <laughs> that means separating the, 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 the country, I'm sure. But let's dive into the details to see where this is coming from. According to the report from the Vanguard, a group under the ages of 21st century youths of Niger Delta and agitators with conscience, uh, 21st CYNDAC defended Senator Gosri Lobot Apabio against accusations of being responsible for the hardships and hunger prevalent in Nigeria. They argue that Apabio has supported legislation aimed at alleviating these issues and urge critics to hold other political figures such as governors and representatives accountable as well. The group warned that if this negative betrayal or portrayal of Akpavye persists, they would initiate a movement called Operation Eat Your Gold and Let Us Eat Our Oil, suggesting a focus on resource control and self-reliance in the Niger Delta region. <laughs> so the group said this in a statement by its coordinator, Izoebi, while reacting to the trending hashtag Akpavye Must Go. Okay, so there's hashtag that probably must go from the Senate, and that is where this one is coming from. So this is Oebe are actually a job people speaking now on behalf of Niger Delta. You know, the antagonism against that probably must stop, or they will activate this uh, operation, eat your good, let us eat our oil. So according to the group, it should be on record that Senator Gosfield of both Apabio has facilitated every re legislation brought to it by the executive to ameliorate the suffering in the land and as such uh, preposterous for him to be singled out as the poster boy for the hardship and hunger that is prevalent in Nigeria. We use this medium to advise the fifth columnist to also hold the governors and representatives to account as we in the Niger Delta will also hold our reps to account. If this trend continues, we will activate Operation Eat Your Gold and let us eat our oil. <laughs> this is serious. So, so what I say now in defense is that all the legislation brought to the Senate by the executive for the alleviation of poverty were all attended to accordingly and timely by Gosula Pabio. So why are they now saying he must go that is responsible for the hardship ravaging the land or Nigeria today? That this is not true. And uh, so Pabio has done his part. They should hold their own government officials to, uh, to account. Members of the Senate, House of Rep, the governors and all of them. They should also be held accountable so that we too in the South will also hold our own uh, uh, sub, uh, legislators accountable as well. So rather than saying that Pabio must go because he has done everything he needed to do, he is not going anywhere. <laughs> so if you continue to insist that you know Pabio must go, then if things continue like this, we will activate Operation Eat Your Gold, let us eat our oil. I know they have gold in Benue, sorry, in uh, Zamfara State and even in Borono State. Okay, the oil in Niger Delta is what is sustaining in Nigeria today. Why the solid minerals that are being mined in the north are not submitted to government, rather, the individuals, the governors, and all these illegal miners are the people enjoying the money. So, how now can you come that natural resources in the north is for the individuals in the north? Meanwhile, the natural resources in the south, which is basically the oil, is for the nation. It's not acceptable. I can see where the resource control agitation is going to come from. Hmm. All right, so I've got a few comment people reacting to this statement. Uh, somebody is saying here, the only thing I love to hate about Apabio is his, his flippancy and talking before he thinks. That trait is not cool for the number of three men of the country. Hmm. For the number three men of the country. 
and that is that is pretty true okay that is true that is true as always say yes he talks nonchalantly like he is not fit to be in that position he doesn't have any good thing for nigerians to emulate exactly my thought he talks like a drunkard no sense of reasoning at all you people are all fools <laughs> insulting a man with a vision somebody don't come with the kind of <laughs> somebody don't come from a quiet bomb to to defend him so that man has earned enough in politics let him retire earning life pension as former governor and as senate is enough for him to talk anyhow the problem with us nigeria masses is tribalism um, defending and celebrating failure because he is from our tribe and that is true that is true Fabio has taken enough but then has he taken more than tinubu tinubu is he ending as a senator still ending as former Lagos state governor and now ending as president has he dropped all those money he has been earning? That's another thing we don't know. South South have produced the worst Senate president on earth. One thing about South is that once you do well, they will, they will follow you. Once you do badly, everybody will shout for you, no respect. But for not, whether the person does well or not, the whole house will start line up behind the person. In the Southwest, you about the same thing. Whether the person is behaving well or not, everybody will come around him except a few enlightened ones that will say no but in the southwest uh, sorry in the southeast and south south nobody cares about anybody you do well you get the result you do anyhow you see anyhow <laughs> uh, somebody said not to know again it's now a problem nigerians are the most confused people on earth you must start from tinubu first he is the head and every day no and everybody know that he is the key policy maker, else you are pouring water uh, on the in the basket. It will leak out. Oh, we really need the likes of Dr. Okadibo back in the in the in the Senate. Her church Okadibo. Apabio is not was Senate president, but Lawan. He was the Senate president presiding and approving all Buhari nonsense that brought us to where we are today after 30 years and that is true as long as you seen that please your group should advise apabio against his unguarded utterances let him carry himself with dignity and start acting as a senate president the thing here is that even this so-called senac or whatever or syndac whatever they are called um i, I don't think that speaking for the whole niger data probably these are the people i probably just gathered Settle them and they are not speaking. That is the truth. And whatever Pabi is giving them is what is pushing them. If he stops, these guys will stop and they will turn against him. The same thing uh, that happened between uh, Tinubu and uh, Asari Dokubo. That is it. <coughs> so that is what is happening. Um, a group called Sindak has come out now to 21st Sindak to come out now to defend Pabi, saying Pabi is not the cause of hunger in the land today. They should hold their governors and other um, lawmakers responsible and accountable. Let's have your thoughts on this and thank you for listening.